ये है इंडिया चमचमाता जगमगाता है फुस फुस आता है कि अगर तेरा कोई सपना है तो आ आ जा और कर ले पूरा अगर तेरे में कोई भूख है तो आ आ जा और कर ले पूरी इज्जत शौरत रुपया ताकत सब तेरे दोस्त बन जाए और तेरी जिंदगी कभी ना खत्म होने वाला सुनेगा सपना आ, ये इंडिया है वो इंडिया ये बंटी और बबली का सपना था और ये है वो इंडिया जो उनकी हकीकत थी जो कहता है सपने उतने ही ऊंचे देखो जितनी हाथों की पहुंच है भूख उतनी ही लगने दो जितनी पूरी हो सके आगे बढ़ो मगर तब जब सब बढ़ना चाहे ऊपर चढ़ो मगर किसी के कंधे पर पांव रखकर नहीं इज्जत शराफत अपना पर इन्हीं को अपनी पूंजी समझो हा ये भी इंडिया है वो इंडिया जहां बंटी और बबली बड़े हुए थे और जहां उनका दम घुटता था ये वर्ल्ड है ना वर्ल्ड इसमें दो तरह के लोग होते हैं एक जो सारी जिंदगी एक ही काम करते रहते हैं और दूसरे जो एक ही जिंदगी में सारे काम कर देते हैं ये मैंने ये वो दोनों कहते थे छोटे छोटे शहरों से खाली बोर दोपहरों से हम तो झोला उठा के चले बारिश कम कम लगती है नदियां मध्यम लगती है हम समंदर के अंदर चले छोटे छोटे शहरों से खाली बोर दोपहरों से हम तो झोला उठा के चले बारिश कम कम लगती है नदियां मध्यम लगती है हम समंदर के अंदर चले ओ हो हो हम चले हम चले ओ राम चंद्र हम चले हम चले ओ राम चंद्र धड़क 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 धुआं उड़ाए रे धड़क 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 सीटी बजाए Recently, uh, I I failed in a business. I believe retail and uh, cinema are two businesses which everybody knows because everybody is a shopper and everybody watches cinema. So I attempted both the businesses. Uh, cinema was one business which I failed. So you'll see a lot of drama and uh, cinematic uh, approach in whatever I do. I think I am taking revenge on my failure, which happened with me. So. we but we strongly believe consumption is going to be the next big thing consumption can drive and change nations if we consume more uh, we can become a very powerful nation unfortunately our policies uh, are still on savings we encourage savings in fact whenever media ask me what is your advice uh, what is your tip uh, on uh, what should the finance minister do i tell him uh, he should uh, lower the taxes on consumption if he spend more he should give us some benefit how can we increase but it's a old setup i think we are still uh, old economy thinkers 
all uh, probably all the economists think that saving uh, drives the country and export is what is going to make our nation prosperous but we i strongly believe it's going to be consumption which will make the nation bigger in the global world if you have gone into the global world if you have gone into uh, building up uh, in uh, globalization for the country i think it's only going to be driven out of consumption secondly uh, there is another approach which we have we look at uh, the market we we believe the new economy which is emerging where we are being a part of the global world is looking at things very differently things are changing much faster than what it used to be earlier earlier uh, things changed after 20 years then it became 10 years but now we see a lot of disruptive innovations coming in which is changing the way we do business uh, and every 3 to 5 year there is one big change which is changing and forcing us to change our business strategy and uh, paradigms of doing business so i want to present uh, we normally in all our in our organization totally we use a unique form of uh, communication which is through telling stories uh, we learned it from our mothers used to talk stories on satna and makhata and lot of things i think our mythology had all the stories in india so i'm going to uh, tell you a modern story out of modern characters this is a story from which i want to explain the point of uh, the story uh, is one of my fav uh, favorite character tintin so tintin is spying on the board meeting of uh, png png is one company which is design led which is which believes in innovation and uh, i think one of the best companies to represent innovation in the world and uh, the the person who is bringing in design led innovation is a chartered accountant but everywhere in the world uh, the new world is happening i think india this buzzword is coming about innovation in business and that's what b school teaches stability organization structure everything has to be defined i think if india moves uh, into getting into value added products and value added services it can become uh, india is the best brand in the whole world but unfortunately we are doing still arbitrage of uh, labor they call in professor calculus who is a scientist who designed the time machine for them so that uh, captain hadock can go back and tintin can travel in the future it goes into automobile company so old economy was all about uh, stability and consolidation and we believe the new economy is all going to be about speed and imagination i think case studies work when there is stability for 15 years or 20 years we in our company works on scenario planning we have we have created scenarios if walmart comes in if kafu comes in or if tesco comes in if they open a store we have created all the scenarios and we'll be able to deal with them if you look at our concept called big bazaar uh, we have created a designed chaos in big bazaar if we believe that a consumer if he doesn't see customer or if he, if he doesn't butt and brush a customer he'll never shop so we have created a whole design where we will always feel crowd in the store <laughs> and people uh, use a unique way of uh, earning money by saving by spending less or saving on costs so accountants call the shot then cfos are the most important thing for a stock market this is not the reliance patal ganga plant any which way unfortunately our balance sheet can't record the intellectual property it can't record the brand values it can't record the the values of the people who work in the organization but that's because the account the balance sheet was created way back when i think till now balance sheet i think is a 
very bad representation of what the company's worth is because it doesn't capture the intellectual property in any which way. I had just been to US to receive the NRF award and we saw more than 250 or 300 participants on technology. They are working for improving that 0.1% efficiency and they spend millions of dollars. Uh, I think it's all about, uh, but in, uh, I think uh, there the market has matured so much where 0.1% matters a lot because of the scale of business and all. But I think in India, we are at a very emerging phase. How technology should use can be quite, quite different. I've, I've read a book on Marx and Spencer where the designation, the hierarchy decides the thickness of the carpet and amount of uh, windows you get in your office. We have more than 500 designers who work with us. 40% of our workforce is women. We have anthropologists, sociologists working with us. Now we have some sailors also who have joined us. Our office has no locks, no doors. Uh, it's all a total open, seamless office. I think the world economy still believes that somebody has to lose for somebody to win. We have taken this approach quite seriously. We have more, more than 16 alliances, around uh, eight joint ventures and more than 26 uh, strategic uh, partnerships with various groups in the world as well as in India. We are partner with Talwakas, we are partner with Manipal, we are partner with Ginny and Johnny, we are partner with, uh, we are investing in more than uh, 16 companies at this moment through a private equity fund. So we, have, we believe that alliances is what can take us uh, go much faster. I think that's happening in India. If you look at India, I think that's come back uh, in a very, very strong way. Secondly, we also believe in a scenario which is a win-win-win scenario. The customer has to win, we have to win, our supplier has to win. But if you look at any other retailer in the world, it's the customer who wins and they win. The supplier never wins. If you look at Walmart, uh, 3,000 vendors would go bankrupt this year supplying to Walmart. Last year it was 2,400. Uh, none of the suppliers to us will ever go bankrupt. We don't believe in transaction relationship. We believe in a very big uh, strategic relationship. And we believe there is nothing such as competition. We can collaborate with anybody and work. We have discovered another big tool through which uh, we are discovering what a customer, we are forecasting what the trend can be. We are using a meme, a new theory which is called mimetics, which is something known as viral marketing in your parlance, but it's much more beyond that. We are studying every trend, every event which happens in the country and looks at whether it can be, which is going to be replicated fast, whether it can become a cultural virus. We, we are aware of every popular music. We go into the source. We try to analyze everything which is happening around the country. So unfortunately, I had to watch earlier Kabi Saas Bikai Bhauti, and we have to watch every popular cinema, which center it has worked, and through which we are able to forecast a demand of quite a few products. I think this is another unique thing which we do in our organization. We are also looking at uh, uh, designing our own products. You will see, you will see soon in the next 30 days, we are launching our own uh, buckets. We are going to launch our own jhadus. Uh, we, are launch we are designing our own products, uh, which will be very different from the products you would have seen in the market and will be endorsed by a great uh, film star. I think it's the, we are looking at uh, this economy very differently because fortunately for us, we are no legacy of the past. We have come afresh, uh, we can do whatever we want. We have created an organization, we don't call it a structure. 
we call it organization design because we believe design is flexible it can be changed structures can't be changed so we are trying to play this game of speed and imagination so far so good we have failed in some we have been successful in some consumers keep on coming to our stores this 26 27 28th of january where we had sabse sasta teen din offer we had more than 60 lakh people coming in you can i'll just give you some numbers uh, of the business which we do uh, we sold uh, more than uh, 1 lakh 8000 bed sheets in 3 days we sold around 38000 mobile phones we would have sold around 70000 towels garments was close to 11 million pieces so that's the power of india we, we believe in on these 3 days we are able to attract india to into our stores and when they come in huge numbers there are queues outside the store and they don't shop more than once or twice a year and they still believe a big shop is expensive shop so we have to make them come into the shop that's the reason we designed this day for them and it has worked very well for us the amount of business we did in 3 days was 125 crores and uh, we had queues outside all 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 our stores for all the 3 days probably that was relevant at that time and probably something like this would be relevant for the era which might come we have seen the scenario we have seen the scenario we have planned the scenario and we are doing business in a unique way uh, so we strongly believe the future lies in the creative economy and uh, so this, this was a little bit about us how we are currently working and i am open to any question anything on the consumer side of business uh, i can make it a interactive session with your permission we are still not selling uh, tobacco <laughs> and we are not selling we are into hard goods when we are getting into services services is a business which you are launching in the next two months we will be offering you plumbing services carpentry services masonry services your amcs of your house everything to deal with your home all the services will be able to repair your mobile phones everything whatever you want so we are looking at uh, money coming out of services also yes it has whenever you climb a step you start seeing things differently but now but we have still defined the boundaries has been defined as a consumption play we are not going to go outside the consumer and outside the consumption play so we are into we are one of the largest developer of retail real estate in the country more than 20 million square foot of retail real estate we are developing but uh, they are all outside part of the company but uh, we are still a asset manager over there but we believe it will help us in growing consumption in the country we are into private equity business where we are funding a lot of product companies whom we can help them grow and earn in the process so we have taken a unique method because as a company our balance sheet because we are not a very old company nor our balance sheet is of that size where we can do everything what large companies can do so we have gone into